Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're going to be going over a cool new feature to the NVIDIA RTX GPUs. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you guys a live demonstration of what the new RTX encoder is actually capable of. So I actually have my stream or a stream set up on my other PC. So I'm actually have my gaming PC running with the stream. I am encoding it with the new RTX encoder through OBS on my RTX 2070. It is currently sitting right around 1.3% on the CPU and we're gonna be testing out Destiny 2 at max settings. So let's go ahead and hop over to the overlay. I wanna get everything set up and ready for you guys and um, kind of show you guys what we're looking at when it comes to gaming and streaming off of an RTX GPU on a single PC stream. So let's go ahead and pop over to the actual overlay so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right guys, so we're, now we're over on the overlay and um, what you see here is actually Destiny 2 on my gaming PC. I'm capturing it from my gaming PC, running the stream off of the NVIDIA RTX encoder and playing the game at the same time. So what we're, and I don't have the frame rates capped or anything like that. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to run the game in a very intensive setting. I'm going to try to get as much action on screen as humanly possible. And I've got the frame rate in the top corner. You see this little green little lettering right here, or numbering, I should say. That is my current FPS. So we're hovering right around 160-ish FPS, which is crazy considering we are encoding off of the same exact GPU. With Task Manager, you're looking at right around... Well, it was at 60 something since I dra drug that down, but we're looking at right around 70, 62, 70 ish GPU usage right now. So, what we're gonna do here is I'm actually gonna run into just open up something in Destiny. So, let's play, mm, let's go to Earth. Let's go to Earth here. There's a public event about to happen. We're gonna see if we can get some action going on screen, and we're gonna take a look at the FPS counter. You're probably going to see it drop down a little bit below 100, but we're trying to stay above 60 FPS. That's the key here, because most of the time when you're gaming and streaming off of the same GPU, you see your FPS drop well below that 60 FPS threshold, and it starts to get a little glitchy on screen for your viewers. So right now, not seeing any glitches. It's using those tensor cores on the RTX GPU to do the encoding. Let's go ahead and jump into some stuff here and see how this is looking. So we remain so in OBS, I'm going to look at OBS here. Let me go ahead and drag this down so you guys can see what we're talking about. So what you're going to see down here is your CPU usage. Um, the game's still running in the background. 0.9% on the CPU usage, zero drop frames. So we're at 60 FPS, zero, absolute zero drop frames going back out to Twitch. That is insane, guys. And I am using the encoding preset for I'm going to go to the output tab. I'm using NVENC H.264 on the RTX. So obviously, what NVIDIA has done here, guys, is pretty incredible when it comes to encoding on a GPU. Obviously, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX cards are phenomenal for single PC streamers. Now, I'm not going to say go out and splurge and grab the biggest and baddest RTX card on the market. Uh, if you're a streamer and you want to stick to a single PC stream, I would say go ahead and just go with an RTX 2070. You could go with an RTX 2060 even, but don't expect to be getting the frame rates that I'm getting here because the GPU on the core on the RTX 2060 isn't as good as the 2070. Now, 
I'm going to say this single PC stream is not going to delete the existence of a dual PC stream, but our technology is getting there and it's getting better each and every day. And I'm happy to say that if you have an RTX card, like I do the RTX 2070, those tensor cores that are on the card are going to be able to encode a stream. It's technically a coprocessor for the actual GPU of the card itself to handle AI, ray tracing, uh, DLSS, all, all of the new technologies that these companies are coming out with. I will say that it is impressive to see how well my NVIDIA's kind of co-processor can handle encoding a stream. And I didn't see any dropped frames. I, we didn't see any dropped frames during the little test that I did there. And it was, it was truly impressive to be able to do that off of a single PC stream and have my CPU usage literally below 1% via OBS. I was watching the CPU usage up above on the task manager and it never pegged above 20%. So if you have a six core 12 threaded processor, like an 8700K, a 2600X from AMD, something of that sort, or even if you have an eight core processor from one of those companies, you are going to see significantly more performance because then the game is able to take all of that, those extra resources into play while rendering the game on the GPU core and using the RTX cores to render and encode the stream going back out to Twitch. What NVIDIA has done here is truly impressive and I can't wait to see what else these companies are able to come up with. I would love to get my hands on an AMD card to test if theirs, because you, know, you guys know the Radeon is saying, the Radeon 7, they are saying that is a content creator's card. If it's able to provide performance like this, it's very much well worth the $700 that you would shell out to pay for it. We'll go over that in another video though, guys. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more tests like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and be sure to hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. It really helps out the channel and helps us to grow. If you guys wanna follow myself or True Gaming on any of our social medias, guys, be sure to hit all of those links down in the description below. I would truly appreciate it. And I would love to see you guys come hang out with me on stream. I am currently playing Anthem all weekend long, so come hang out with me. But guys, like I said, that about wraps it up for this video. I'll see you in the next one. We got plenty more awesome content coming to the channel. Take it easy. Why Shadow out?